Well, so tough that a nine-year-old felt it was his duty to support his family. Nine-year-old Arthur Correa wanted to help pay the bills at home. He also wanted to take them on a vacation to Cedar Point. So he hit the road this summer pushing a lawnmower. Bill Spencer picks up the story. At just nine years old, little Arthur Correa of White Lake has been mowing lawns all hot summer long. In fact, the lawnmower he uses is bigger than he is. Still, Arthur works hard pushing that machine all over town because his family needs the money. What were you thinking in your, in your mind? That I should help my parents out and my family. Before Arthur cut Brianna Heigl's lawn, he explained why he was doing this. Thing I said, is there some kind of cool toy or something that you were saving up towards? And he said, no, not really. He told me what I was actually saving up for was hopefully to, after I paid for groceries for my family, to have enough left over to take them to Cedar Point and do something fun before the end of summer because they didn't have much money. Rich, for that, thank you for you see, both Arthur's father and mother are profoundly deaf, and Arthur's mother is quickly going blind as well. Neither one has been able to find a job for a long time, and so there's been very little money to pay for even the basics in life, like heat, electricity, bills, and food. Because, my mom and dad didn't have much money. On top of that, Arthur's parents have six young boys to support. My name is Arthur. My name is Rico. Jack. Anthony. Tony. So when Brianna found out why Arthur has been working so hard this summer, she created a Facebook page on telling his story and started taking in donations. As of last night, she collected more than $2,000. For this nine-year-old little boy to want to do that for his family, he just wanted to spend time with his family and, you know, he's out working. Using that money, today, Brianna took Arthur's parents, Lori and Anthony, and all six boys, including Arthur, on a big shopping spree to buy clothes for the upcoming school year. And what do Arthur's parents think about all this? Well, let's just say this is one case where you don't need to understand the words to understand what's going on. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really, do you have to understand what she was saying? You can tell that she is absolutely, completely moved by everything that has happened. We've got some more surprises in store for Arthur and his family in White Lake. We'll be telling you about that in about two weeks. I'm Bill Spencer, Channel 7, Action News. I can't wait to see those surprises. What a special story, Bill. Thank, thank you. you. Especially young Gus, once again. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Thank Bill. you. Thank you. Okay. The Tigers.